The Alpha Academy is open for business. We are about to see a clinic. The following contest is a triple threat match. And it is for the WWE Intercontinental Championship. Introducing the challenger, representing the Alpha Academy from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 202 pounds. A true master inside the ring and would do anything hey, to reach Byron, the pinnacle. Byron. Yes. Shoot! Stop. Why stop doing that, Corey? Chad Gable always competes at the highest level, both mentally and physically. Oh, Saxton, stop sucking up. Gable will never uh, thank you. Here comes the 330-pounder, Bronson Reed. And introducing the challenger from Black Forest, South Australia, weighing in at 330 pounds, Bronson Reed! The kaiju of WWE, Big Bronson Reed. He has been on an absolute tear as of late. We've seen him beat some big names, compete in some major matches, I think it's just a matter of time before Bronson really hits it big. Gentlemen, big Bronson Reed is ready to claw through the competition. And I don't think anyone can stop him. is ready for a fight. And it is going to be a good one. And introducing the champion from Montreal, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 212 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental Champion, Sammy There is perhaps no superstar with more heart in WWE than Sami Zayn. You can beat him down, kick him around over and over again, but Sammy will always get back up. Sammy Zayn's a world-class competitor, no doubt about it. He just needs to make sure to get out of his own way tonight, stay out of his head. Claim to the workhorse title here tonight. The WWE Intercontinental Title Online. Perhaps a new chapter will be written in this championship's long history. For over 40 years, the WWE's best have competed for this title. Winning the Intercontinental title has been a major milestone in some Hall of Fame careers, and well, it could be just that again here tonight. Set up, power bomb. Now that's what you call impact. A strong right. Flipping senton attack. He manages to escape it. Oh, that hurt right to the kidney. Golly. In front of DDT. Lights out. Now, this is the kind of match where you can really push the bounds of damage you can inflict. I'm not saying that a no disqualification match should mean carte blanche to do whatever you want to someone, but it does provide an opening to be creative in your offense. So be creative. Knife edge chop echoing through the arena. Puts the boot to the midsection. 
Just ruthless. Prime example of working smarter, not harder. That's what I say. Looking for something, anything under the ring. The universal signal for extreme. The kendo stick has entered the fray. Here's the pin title on the line. Gable quickly getting the shoulder up. Channeling his energy to stay in this matchup. So fast, Hurricane Rana. Speed kills and no one knows that better than the champion. And he sends him into the corner. Knife edge chop. That gets reversed on Reed. And Zane is clearly looking for a fight here. It might not be flashy, but sometimes you just gotta toss another person and make a statement. The challenger's looking shaken. Yeah, Sammy just brought the fight to him. Get his press! The, ch the champion into the cover! Oh, and he breaks up the pin. Turning the tables there! Gotta find a way to get out of this. is no easy task. Oh, my God! Gable avoids that one. Well, Nelson, dragon suplex. He is delivering elbow after elbow. Textbook fireman's carry takeover. Uh-oh, ankle pick. Beautiful takedown. Oh, knee crusher. That's going to hurt. Assaulting the knee with purpose. Heading up, he's thinking back. the count before two. Strong kick out, but you have to wonder if he can keep it up. He's one step ahead there. Bad predicament right here. Snake out. Oh, reach in. That could have been it right there. And complete control of their opponent. Boom! Into a DDT. And he breaks up the pin and the match continues. Position to be in right now. Check your face. 
continue? I don't know how. And the champ's shoulders are down. Yeah, no. He doesn't get the three. I didn't think we'd see a kick out there. Shot taken. That one's going to leave a win. With the championship on the line. And he only stays down for a one count. Still going to take a massive effort to keep him down. Gable's fixed on him now. Uh-oh. Able to evade. for the ride these fans have gone through in this match. It is good a roller coaster, and I don't think the ups and downs are over yet. Scoop slam! The challenger being outclassed here. He needs to get himself some room to regroup fast. Now is the time for Chad Gable to find a way to shift into that extra gear. Gets him with the counter. Defenses are sharp in this series of reversals. And he said, you're not getting me with that this time. Can no stick in back. to retain the championship. He breaks up the pin, and Corey, the match continues. I love it. What a headbutt. Climbing up to the top now. Watch out. say the superstar thinks a little too much of themselves, but the tape doesn't lie. This is a serious contender for any title. They need to loosen up, have a little fun. Heck, maybe even lose a match once in a while. <laughs> what? That is horrible advice. Beating the EST might just make you the new EST. Already so many accolades for this woman, Bianca Belair. I know she's early in her WWE career, but Bianca Belair already might be considered one of the best. And here's the thing, she's only gonna get better. You're right, Cole, it's actually kind of scary how Belair continues to keep topping herself.
The EST Bianca Belair always has such a big smile on her face. Well, that's just because Bianca hasn't realized you're down here yet. A relatively untested superstar in WWE. She has made big waves since landing here. She's made it rough waters for all the other superstars in the women's division. Rocking the boat could lead you to capsizing, though. Certainly a dangerous game she's been playing, ruffling the feathers of anyone that crosses her path. And ready for her across the ring, the EST, Bianca Belair. The toughest, the fastest, the strongest, simply the best. It's hard for any opponent to eclipse the capabilities of Belair, and I would say it's ill-advised to even try. Well-delivered suplex. <laughs> oh, it didn't go as planned there. Caught with a DDT. Oh, no. And a reverse DDT. Oh, what an elbow high on the chin. is the pinfall and her opponent isn't going to hand her a fast win <laughs> saw it coming and answered with a sharp elbow Picture perfect drop kick oh what a counter Uh-oh, sunset flip, power bomb. Picture perfect example for when you just want to put someone down with authority. Stuck in the corner, trapped in the corner, and then the kicks. Denied with an elbow. Bianca gets rescinded right back. If Bianca Belair wants to come out on top in this match, she really only has to do one thing, and that's unleash her jaw-dropping power. As long as she puts everything she has behind her attacks, I think she can get it done here. Belair's physical abilities certainly are indeed impressive, Corey, and they could be the key to victory for her. Jeez. Here's a combo of strikes. Made right to the face. And with an onslaught of strikes like that, it's clear they have nothing but punishment on their mind. Shutting that down with the back elbow. Military cross. Continuing to attack the neck. Oh, draped over the top rope. Spy Buster! Look at this. Boom. Nice. And into the count. Two count. She was close to the end there. If she keeps the pressure on, the next one might do it. Lighten up the chest, and now straight to the knee. Great sequence of offense from Bel Air. Look at Bianca go, putting her jaw-dropping power behind every attack.
That's another focused attack to her torso area. And the hits to the core keep coming. Drop kicked all the way to the floor. She's gaining momentum here, guys. Let's see what Belair can do with the opportunity. To the face. What a redirect. Every maneuver being returned with counter fire. Ooh. The end is looming now. She is barely standing at this point. Oh, man. with an elbow. Whip back into the ring. That should do it right there. And a kick out at two. Now is not the time to wallow in disbelief. Pressure must be kept on. Bianca's looking impressive. Bianca's doing a good job staying attached to the competition. Placed in the corner. Reciprocating the initial reversal. <laughs> Bel Air picking up speed. Shining star press. She kicks out. She just won't stay down. Bianca Belair just goading her opponent. Bianca Belair, there's the power. A number of clotheslines for Bianca. Everything's going against her now. Yeah, she's being met with a roadblock every time. Bianca Belair just goading her opponent. <laughs> Made her pay for her mistake. She's managing to find some of that needed breathing room. Could that be the table turner she so desperately needed? And shoulders down. This could be the one that does it for her. And still in this. Getting dangerously close to ending it all there. And now she's climbing to the top turnbuckle. From the top rope, beautiful drop kick. Shoulder tackle after shoulder tackle. Belair really found herself in the wrong place there. Not a bad place to be in, but the longer this goes, the more trouble a superstar exposes themselves to. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Up to the top rope now. Flying. And Bianca felt the full force of that. Two. She kicks out. I don't believe it. It had to have been instincts. That's the only explanation as to how Belair kicked out there. A big effort. Oh, the impact on that clothesline. And there's another one. Oh, caught the kick. Intercepted. Nice sweep of the leg. Bianca is being taken full advantage of now. Belair is not gauging the situation accurately. Taking this to the floor. Side headlock takeover. Nicely done. Oh. Tremendous pressure on the head and neck. Seeming end again. Yeah, Belair finding herself in a tougher situation than she expected here. Oh! Bianca is losing any remnants of control now. Belair now just trying to survive. 
She's in danger of a count out here. I don't know if she cares. Bianca managing to get some control back now. Yeah, Bianca's survival instincts are taking over. Back in the ring now. She just dug down deep there, but I don't know if she'll be able to do it again. A unique offense in store here. Dragon Sleeper applied. Oh my God, from the top rope. Dragon Sleeper locked in. Oh my God. Bianca Bella. I think we'd see a kick out there. Bel Air looking to wrap this one up. And finds a counter. There's a crucifix. Nicely done. It's incredible how these women have been going at it in this one. What's really incredible is that they still seem far from finished. Oh, that's a hard kick. She's looking for the win. She gets the shoulder up. You got a question. How much is it worth? How much is it worth to continue through the agony? It's obviously worth everything. Obviously worth every drop of sweat on the ground. And a drop kick. Picture perfect. Packed crowd on their toes. This is what it is all about. She's got her where she wants her. Up high. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Plucked out of the air. And that looked like a rag doll being thrown around. Bianca Belair, oh look at this, making it look easy, taking her time, and then a power slam. Action needs to return to the ring and fast. And now she delivers her back into the ring. Look at that, did here. This could be it. Forces the shoulder up after two. What does she have to do to put her away? I'm asking myself the same question. I have no idea. Boom! Belair was scouted there. Uh, oh! And now she's looking to go top rope. She's rising back up on those wobbly legs. Lift off. Oh, wait a second. Stuck in the tree of woe. No escape in sight. Stuck in the tree of woe. And oh. They are doing whatever they please.
And Bianca had it scouted. She's tied up. Getting ready. She wants to finish this. Up high. Come on, body. Cover. One, two count. Oh, and a kick out. How did she do that? This started as a match. Now it's a test of will. Great counter. Impressive ring IQ on display there. Through the arena. Boom. Boom. Look at her answering back. Military class. Bianca Belair is taking her claim here as the EST. Oh, reversal catches Bianca. Looking for a high-risk move. Oh, my God. Dami Musa for the win. There's two. And she fights it off. This is no time to hesitate. You can feel the end coming. Puts a stop to things. All the way up. Driven down with a sidewalk slam. This crowd has been building, and they are in a fever pitch right now. You can feel the anticipation growing with every second that ticks past in this match. And now thrown back into the ring. She's trying so desperately to get back up to her feet. Muscling up her opponent. You know what's next. KOD. Did Belair just close this out? That's going to be it. Two. And a kick out. Saw that coming. She was barely able to get that shoulder up. I cannot believe she had the wherewithal. Belair has to be contemplating her next step now. If that was her plan A, she needs to move to plan B. Up and down. What a gourd buster. Byron, I love this move. One of my favorites. Now the leverage in this match is in Bianca's favor. Bianca's at full throttle. Sky high. Frog splash. Looking for the victory. There's two. Got it. What a match. Here is your winner, Bianca. The WWE Universe showing their appreciation for this hard-earned victory. Matches like these make you fall in love with this sport. Determined competitors pulling out the...